gotten together um, local legislative um, advocates as well as Congress uh, to advocate for industrial hemp use. There's amazing examples here of products. There's an American hemp flag grown right here in the U.S. that is on display. There's some hemp car parts uh, for BMW. Uh, there's fiber examples. There's some delicious hemp superfoods, hemp clothing. One of the most remarkable things about it, almost as remarkable as the nearness of hemp's final full legality, is that 10 years ago, you might have had some problem at congressional security if you were bringing in hemp fiber. And instead today, we have senators, congressmen. You think for a moment about how far we have come in Congress, but think about how far we have to go. On the site of the Pentagon, there were, I've got a picture of a hemp plant about 14 feet high where the military was urging Americans to grow hemp during World War II because of its strategic importance. Think for a moment about our founding fathers, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, both of whom must be spinning in their graves right now, knowing that a product that they grew and profited from is illegal to be grown now. It's absolutely nuts. I mean, the ban on growing hemp to sell it to Costco makes about as much sense as a ban on portobello mushrooms. I mean, this is goofy even by Washington, D.C. standards. And it's very important that we uh, take the actions necessary to uh, support this industry that adds millions of dollars to our economy. Uh, and since currently almost, hemp, almost all hemp is imported, the United States has been losing out on a big part of the economic benefits that come with growing and processing hemp, uh, as well as penalizing consumers. In 2014, it's estimated that well over $620 million in sales was achieved using varied forms of hemp products here in the United States. And the majority of that money left the United States and went to Canada, to China, to Kazakhstan, and several places around the world. We have migrated in to monoculture, and we have migrated into a world in which the family farm is hanging on by its fingernails. And a new crop, freed for sale, that has so many industrial and medicinal uses as hemp, has got to be an excellent, excellent move to begin to restore the possibility of families owning their farms, expanding the number of family farms, expanding the local health of agriculture. The event went really well today. We had a great turnout. We had a, a lot of staff members that came down and we had a number of members that stopped by as well. We're hopeful that we'll gain some additional co-sponsors for the bill here in the new future. It's a beautiful thing to see that this is the future of America. This isn't a progressive issue or a conservative issue. This is like Silicon Valley once was. Hemp is the new economy.